I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be talking to you about sleep. Not the lack of sleep that I have been getting lately, but sleep with babies and toddlers and children. Just a few of the products that I have found amazing at helping Jasper and Jensen to sleep. Now, as you all know, I feel like I'm such a broken record because I probably bring this up all the time. Jasper never slept through the night until he was 13 months and six days. So I'm not like the poster girl for getting your child to sleep through the night. I'm pretty crap at it. Jensen turns 12 weeks tomorrow and last night was his first night where he kind of slept through the night, but I honestly think it was purely down to him having his injections and him just getting really, really upset and then kind of passing out from it. But yeah, he did 6.30 to 5.30 with a dream feed at 11 and then he went back to sleep again from 5.30 to 8.30. So really, really pleased with that. And I will let you guys know like, if this is it and he starts sleeping through the night properly. But on the whole, he is a good sleeper. He literally wakes up to feed and goes back to sleep. He's not like a really fractious baby or anything. But yeah, Jasper now sleeps through the night absolutely fine. Sometimes he plays up a little bit at bedtime, but that's just because he's being a pickle. But sleep-wise, he's good. So the first sleep product that I would 100% recommend is white noise. There is science behind it, it is scientifically proven to help babies sleep, but there are loads of different ones that you can have. With Jasper, we just use You and the Dream Sheep. You and the Dream Sheep is a fluffy, cuddly sheep and each of its four legs has a button that plays a different white noise. So the one that we would always use with Jasper was the heartbeat because it just reminds a baby of being in the mother's womb and hearing her heartbeat. We didn't start using it straight away, which I'd recommend doing because then baby will literally go from hearing your heartbeat to hearing this heartbeat. But yeah, we left it a little bit late and I did loads of things wrong with sleep. I am gonna do another video on sleep mistakes that I've learned from. With Jensen, we also have you in the dream sheet. We have an updated one. We have the gray one, um, but it's exactly the same. It's belly glows red like the first one. So that it's kind of like a little night light and it's nice and cozy and it makes the same noises. And again, with Jensen, we use the heartbeat sound. The other white noise that we use, and to be honest, I use this the, like religiously every single night. You and is more like a, if we're out and about, then I'll like pop it in the car seat with him or have it downstairs. But it's a wisp bear, the humming bear. Basically it attaches to the side of the crib. It makes the sound of a hairdryer. But what is amazing is that it automatically goes off when your baby cries, shouts out, makes a noise. Sometimes I'll walk in if I just close the wardrobe, it goes off. So it's quite sensitive, which is fine because it's setting off white noise, not an alarm. And it's brilliant. So if your baby's just being a bit fussy, rather than like by the time you've heard them and got to them and they're all crying loads. Whisper has already turned on and settled them back off to sleep, so it's brilliant, it's really, really good. I would 100% recommend that to like everyone. We've, we've got another one, we've got a whale, I can't remember what it's called, but it's from Infantino. And that's a good one, it makes ocean noises and lullabies. We have a few things that make lullabies, but I would say white noise, definitely. Another sleep product that I would recommend is a bedside crib. The one that we have is the three-in-one bedside crib. So basically it's a crib that attaches to the side of your bed by these little straps that go under the mattress. Three of the sides are sturdy, they're canvas, but like they don't move. And then the side that goes alongside your bed can unzip. So it makes it easy for you to get baby out. You can reach in, you know, you can stroke them, you can hold their hand, check if they're breathing because I do that all the time. I'm one of those mums that I'm like, oh my God, his chest isn't moving and he's always fine. But yeah, I just, I feel like I check his breathing all of the time. It's brilliant and it's a three in one because you can also remove the top of it. So it's a bassinet. It's really heavy though. So I, I don't personally do that. I just keep it attached to the bed. And then the third part of it is a standalone crib. So it doesn't have to be attached to your bed. It can just go on the other side. It's absolutely brilliant, especially good if you've had a C-section because you know, you don't need to be getting in and out of bed all of the time and it's perfect for night feeds. It's just the safest way to co-sleep without having them in your bed. So yeah, I love that, absolutely love that because Jensen is close enough to smell me. I can sense that he's there, I can hear him and it just makes night feeds so much easier. My next top sleep product is the Sleepy Head and this is basically like a nest cocoon to keep your baby nice and snug. It's basically a flat bottom with a snug that goes around them. It makes them feel nice and secure and safe as if they're in their mother's arms. So it makes it really easy if you are transitioning them from your arms to that rather than putting them straight into a crib where there's just all this vast space around them and they're gonna like spray out their hands, you know, and they do that spider monkey thing. 
um, it just makes them feel nice and safe. If it's inside a bedside crib, you can put it on any flat surface, so it's portable, you can take it on holiday with you, you, know, you can have it on the floor, you can have it on your bed, as long as you deem it safe for them to be there. It's absolutely brilliant, it goes in our swinging crib, in our Moses basket, yeah, it goes everywhere with us and it just means that Jensen's then got that continuity because he's always in the same place. Now another thing, and I never thought that I would hear myself say this because I just assumed that my children weren't dummy children, I'm not anti-dummy at all, but I tried on Jasper, and he didn't take it and I'd been trying on the Jensen and he hadn't taken it until after his injections when it was the only thing that would settle him. Yeah, now he's a dummy baby, so in between feeds, instead of him comfort sucking, which he'd been doing so much, he now has a dummy. And I know there's this whole like pro against dummies debate thing. You know, it's what helps my child. You can get orthodontic ones that aren't bad for their teeth. Another thing for us, so I'm not, this isn't like a, if you want your child to sleep, use these. This is just something that's helped us. But it's always making sure that Jensen has mittens or sleep suits that cover his hands. He's a scratcher, no matter how smooth and filed down his nails are, he always scratches himself. So making sure that his fingers are covered just means that if he does rub his face in the night, he's not gonna like, scratch himself and wake himself up. Another fab sleep product is a sleep bag. Some parents swaddle their babies, but my boys will not be swaddled. Pete managed to do it kind of last night for like 10 minutes and then Jensen had his arms out, but yeah, both him and Jasper have not been swaddlers. They just, they break free no matter how well you do it. So sleep bag is the next best thing to that. We use the Baba Sack, which is by Mama Designs because it's two in one. So there's an inside layer that you can take out when the weather's a bit hotter. But yeah, it poppers under his arms, so it's nice and secure. Just he likes to have his arms free, but he needs that warmth, obviously, of having a quilt. Something that we've also been using is lavender because it has natural soothing and calming and relaxing elements to it. So when we do our bedtime routine, which I am gonna do a video of, I include lavender in pretty much every aspect. So they have lavender in their body wash, they have lavender in their bubble bath, there's lavender in the moisturizer when I give the boys a massage, and then I have a humidifier, which I also put lavender essential oils in. So yeah, they are pretty dosed up on lavender, which helps them to sleep really well. Something else that is an absolute must is having blackout curtains or blinds. So in our bedroom, we have a big window behind me over here, and they have really thick blackout curtains. And also behind the camera up here, we have the same and in both the boys' bedrooms they have blackout blinds. We all really kindly made our blind in Jensen's nursery. It's a Roman blackout blind. It's a white one but it doesn't let any light through and that's by a company called The Curtain Gallery. So I'll leave a link below to their Facebook page so you can find them there. Well those are my top sleep products at the moment. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it useful. I'll leave links to everything below. Please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really does mean the world to see that little subscriber count go up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your tips Blah, tip, top sleep, blah, top sleep products are. If you've used any of mine or if you have any questions about the ones that I've used, I will be doing a video on tips, things that I've learned from Jasper I didn't do again with Jensen and another one on our routine. So um, yeah, these are just a few little products that we use and I hope you like them.